We have so much stuff to go today. Uh, there's no way nothing's not going to go wrong. Look at that. That's pretty. Nice. That is like I could sit here and look at this for a minute or two. I love rotisserie chicken, man. Ain't no $5 thing at Costco. That's much easier. Hey guys, my name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Come on over here and look what we're doing first of all. Oh, by the way, hey listen, if you're a fan of the channel here, then you know that uh, 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 we kind of learn together sometimes. And I love my pieces of equipment and I, I, I get to know them and they, they unlock their little secrets and they tell me how they work and all this kind of stuff. So I love my wild side. This thing's fantastic, man, open wood fire. Here's what I learned though, all right? This is kind of on an angle right now and once you get this lit at a hundred and holy crap degrees you really don't want to move it around that much right and what i found was if it's on an angle as this thing turns this like pops out and then i find it like resting here or resting there so i learned something today Ding. let's go back here and check out what we're up to uh so i've got some oil going here that boy i, I think's getting hot enough i got my blackstone lit up that's hot i know because i just touched it <laughs> and i got my rectex sitting at 475 degrees that's grilling numbers right there searing numbers and uh i've even got can you see that i got a sous vide going you crazy okay, so uh smokers going flat tops going fires going sous vide is sous vide -ing. uh so here's the first thing i got to do okay I got a couple of nice big chicken breasts here from uh, the largest chickens that ever were. I mean, those are the scariest things. Look at those things. They're enormous. That's like, like a turkey chicken. A turkin. A chicken? A chicken turkin. All right. Uh, and, and I've got my, uh, my uh, smoker here set at 475 degrees. It will go up to 500. I just wasn't in a crazy mood. And I've got my grill grates. Now, I haven't opened this up to show you because I don't want to, like, lose a whole lot of heat. But that's what's going to take care of our chicken burgers today. So really quickly, and uh, actually, Trish, if you can, I'm going to get you to kind of have a look here because these grill grates are act actually they're fantastic. Uh, this is what? Oh, tss. This is going to put those great grill marks on. In a smoker, if you got a smoker, that will uh, maintain a consistent temperature. So uh, that's a consistent high temperature. So that's where one of those is a real dandy. All right. Uh, the master built, like the box style smokers, those are fantastic. But, uh, it's a big but, they don't really get that hot. They'll get to 275. So for smoking, fantastic. So we're going to do pulled pork or pulled chicken, okay? Uh, and, and by the way, this is all just an excuse for us to try our new sauces. Just FYI. Uh, so sous vide, if you're unfamiliar with this kind of cooking, uh, it, it stands for under vacuum. So have a look here. Uh, basically, you, you, you put whatever it is you want to cook in a sous vide in a bag, suck all the air out so it submerges in the water. You set the water to a certain temperature, so chicken lakes about 150 to 165 degrees, and you let it be, man. Let it be. Let it. That's all you got to do. And what's going to happen is uh, the temperature of the food is going to reach the temperature of the water, and it's going to sit there. So, you know, uh, the, the tough part about sometimes with, with a grill is getting that temperature to that right 135, 145, 155 degrees, getting it off in the right time. A sous vide will get it up to that temperature and hold it there till you're ready. Till you're ready, that's going to hold it there. So this was a couple hours. And uh, these little balls are fantastic, but you got to watch these. So uh, this is pretty hot. Trish from Clearwater has a question. What's your question, Trish from Clearwater? So how long could you leave it in there? Okay, so uh, Trish is asking, how long could you just leave it in there? And that's actually a good question if you're, if you're new to sous vide. Uh, so it's going to cook almost anything you put in there in about an hour or two. And then you can just kind of hold it. Chicken doesn't want to sit there much longer than maybe a couple of hours because it's not a really fibrous type of food. But, man alive... Uh, and, and by the way, if sous vide bores the heck out of you, stick around. We got smoking and chicken and, and, and grilling and flat topping and frying. And if I leave that oil any longer, fire. So <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun. So, guys, uh, I'm just going to put some gloves on here because this pulled chicken's cool. Um, you know, if you're going to do one in the smoker, it can take a long time. You got to babysit it. Uh, this is just kind of a. This is just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> one of those uh, kind of quick uh, workarounds. I like to use one that has the skin and the bone because that's where all the flavor comes from. So listen, this isn't going to be pretty. All right, nobody's asking for pretty. I'm just going to take the skin off because, ew. All right, there we are. And look at this. I mean, you want to talk about easy? This just like pulls right apart. No effort in this at all. Uh, no effort in the cooking, no effort in the prep, no effort in the babysitting, absolutely nothing. And I'm going to leave a little meat on these bones. And you want to save the drippings that are in this bag, kind of like you save, uh, you know, for gravy or something like that. All right, so there we go. That's it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, you can spend all day with a smoker kind of babysitting uh, a pulled chicken, or this way is fabulous.
This is nice and soft. It's tender. It's exactly what you want on a pulled chicken sandwich. That's beautiful. So, listen, if you're doing this in your house, uh, uh, you know, grab a fry pan for what you see for the next step, or you can skip right over to throwing the sauce in there. But before we do that, just because we are on our outdoor set here, and I do have a bunch of outdoor equipment that I love cooking on, and I really like when it picks up the flavors, and before we put the sauce on, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of our Blackstone treatment. There we go cold rolled steel. So let's go ahead and spread this out. This this is cooked really nice. You can see how tender and juicy that is. I mean, just look at it glisten. So I don't want to dry this out by any means or what in the heck was, uh, you know, the point of leaving it in there for a little while, but I do want it to just pick up that grilled flavor. So uh, I'm going to make some onion straws because I'm making a killer burger in a minute. So pretty simple. Uh, you ready? Yep. So uh, just give these a little bit of a flour dusting. That's about it. So this is where I want to be careful uh, so I'm not covered in flour for the rest of the show. So there we go, a little bit in there. And let's get a little pile going here. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot to jazz up what can be kind of boring or mundane. And onion straws, those are jazzy. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I think my chicken... Let's see. Yeah, see, come look at this. That's all I want, really, is that little bit of browning there. And that's what you don't get from a smoker. That's what you don't get from, uh, uh, you know, just kind of leaving it as is. To me, that's that's gold there, man. I love that. So I'm going to crank this guy a little bit. There we go. I want my crisscrosses. So crisscross is going to make you jump, jump. There it is. Let's pull that off of there because I think... Whoa, on a roll tonight. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this off. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. Right there. It's got a little color, a little gold, but it's still sous vide juicy. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, man. This is fantastic. I love it when it all works out. So let me go ahead and take our onion straws out here and get them on some paper towel. All right, so those are ready. We'll have those in a second. Now to get my bacon baconing. I can't have chicken burgers without bacon. I want a little sauce on there. Thanks very much. Our bacon's still doing its thing. Here we go. Uh-huh. Okay. And we're just going to kind of give this. It's, it's, it's on its last part of the cooking here. Now listen, if you're new to cooking, and, 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 and this is something that I used to do, uh, the sauce does not go on first. I used to do that all the time. What a meathead. You know what I'm saying? Because all that would do is just burn. Burn in 10 seconds. I'm like, my stuff never looks like it does on TV. There we go. So give this a little little baste in its last couple of minutes here. Now listen, I'm looking for barbecue chicken this time around. If you wanted that crispy, snappy skin, kind of skip this part and do a little dipping later. Dippity dip dip. Uh, all right. That's good. That worked. Let's pop that there. All right. Assessing the situation. Bacon's doing well. That's done. Oh, let's get this chicken put together. That's fun. We gotta, we gotta have a bite of something here soon. There we are. So here's what you're gonna do, you guys. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take the uh, uh, juice that was in that chicken, because this is where a lot of that flavor is. A lot of that flavor. The reason we left the skin and the bones in is right there. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take a little bit of barbecue sauce, and we're gonna use some Kansas City. Uh, you used a half a cup when you were cooking it, and then you're going to use about another half a cup when you're putting this together. And that's going to be the sauce, that nice, beautiful, tangy sauce that your chicken's going to live in. So let me go ahead and get some tongs here. My bacon's not baconing very fast. I don't know what's going on there. And just give this a little mix. See this? Oh, this is so nice. Oh, wow. That is perfect and this is the point if you want to throw some spices in there go ahead and do that if you want to uh you know make it jalapeno chipotle you know uh, uh, kick it up this is the time to do it so we got that happening right there we are going to go with broccoli slaw you can use coleslaw if you want store bought fine and we're going to make a nice coleslaw for this so here we go uh, let's get some salt and pepper in there and then if you're in the writing things down mode this is a quarter cup of mayonnaise and then you want a quarter cup of sour cream there we are 
A quarter cup of green onions. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. About another tablespoon of pass the dish on mustard, please. And then <laughs> a little bit of honey to sweeten the deal, about a teaspoon or two. So that's going to be the coleslaw mixture for our, uh, uh, for our uh, uh, pulled chicken sandwiches. Now, this is something that uh, I really recommend you can make ahead of time because it's really nice when it sits for 10, 15 minutes uh, just to kind of get things absorbed. There, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. All right, so let's make a couple of these sandwiches. That's what we need to do. Let's get that happening. So we've got our pulled chicken sitting in our nice Kansas City sauce. Oh, you know what I'm going to do before that happens just so I don't, I don't lose a bird? I gotta flip these. You wanna see something pretty? Watch this. That's pretty. There we go. And this is a nice way to uh, uh, to cook the chicken breasts that are this thick too, by the way. It's a really good way to do it. So let's put that down like that. Uh, if you wanna take a, another step in it, soak it in a little buttermilk before you do See what happened? This is cool, man. Get the neighborhood to feed you. All right, chicken dish number one. Ah, ah, ah. All right. That is fabulous. Oh my God, that's good. Here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. You got to do that. You got to do that. A little perfect flat top bacon. And I do want for this one. Just to toast the buns. I got the bacon grease in there. I'm pretty happy it's still sitting there. So, I use pet, uh, pretzel buns for this. And there's a reason. Uh, uh, these, when, when you get into chicken breasts and chicken burgers, they're pretty big, man. Like, they're pretty substantial uh, chicken breasts. So, you want to make sure that you've got something substantial to go with it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to loosen these while we're in a easy position here. Ready? Oh my. Uh huh. Oh, this is the best. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this is our chicken burger station right here, like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the uh, uh, check and chicken, see if it's ready. Yep, that's ready. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to grab, I want spicy. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for spicy on this one. So Trish, we are going to start it. Oh yeah. There we go. You want to eat this quick because the bun's going to get soggy. I like a chicken breast. That's why I like these heavy can take it buns. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? Oh, there. we should. Really should put some cheese on here, don't you think? Yeah, here, let's do this. Couples, then we'll cut the chicken, and then we'll serve the burgers. Here we go. Let's get a couple pieces of bacon on each one of these. Like so. There we are. And that one like that. Perfect. What's everybody baking tonight, by the way? I haven't even asked anybody any questions. Where anybody's from, what you up to. Is it football night for you? There we go. Cheddar bacon chicken, baby. That's the stuff right there. All right, so let's get the cheese to melt a little bit. Good stuff. Let's tear into this chicken, man. Look at that. That's beautiful. Holy, a little pop thing popped. That's fun. Ah. This is perfect. That's rotisserie chicken there, man. Yeah, Costco can go home. <laughs> That's great. So I'm going to put a couple slices out here because I'm dying to try these sauces on like just some nice, nice, nice chicken. So let me go. Look at this. It's perfect. Man, I love it when it all turns out. There we are. So let's put that there. We'll put this aside. 
this is going to be great. And let's cut these, uh, kind of cut these up so we can try a couple of our sauces. All right, here we go. Let's try our, uh, which one's this? Texas. Texas barbecue sauce. There's one for you and one for me. There we are. Okay. Oh, you want the fork root. Well, well so that's that a, I can that's make fun. it like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. It's outstanding. That's delicious. That's so good. All right, my baby likes it hot. So, let's try the forge and fire hot sauce here. A little dab, a little dab. Yeah, we have this really cool uh, relationship with Forge and Fire and uh, uh, all those great folks there with the work that we do at HSN. And uh, I'll tell you, man, thank you for sending me these. These are so good. Mmm. 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 All right, here we go. How's our cheese? Oh, ho, 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 Trish, look at this. We are bad a thousand tonight, man. Ready? Yep, that'll work. So now, let me get our onion straws. Here is a pile for you. Here's a pile for you. And then, yeah, barbecue sauce. Which one haven't we done here, man? Did we do the Kansas City? Ooh, sweet and smoky. Where'd that one go? Oh, we had a sweet and smoky? Here it is. Oh, we ran out of it on the chicken. Guys, I need more force and fire sauce. Kansas City's great. Here we go. This is a good way to enjoy a chicken burger. Look at this. Don't be mamsy pamsy with the sauce either. Get that in there. Oh, nobody likes a mamsy pamsy. All right, so I got to cut this in half. Give it what? You think your readers are dating you? What's that? They dating me? Is that a thing? No. I don't think Mamsie Pamsie was ever a thing. All right, I got to cut this. How's our shot? We got to have a nice looking shot of this. You ready? Wow. Look at that thing. That's fantastic. Holy cow. Oh, good stuff. All right, let's cut this guy. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it. Hey, let's get a like and a follow and share this stuff, you guys. We really appreciate that. I'm saying... All right. That is fantastic. Holy cow, look at that thing. Mmm. That is dinner. Other half's your dinner. <laughs> Holy cow. That's amazing. Mmm. Well, guys, <coughs> look what we did today. This was great. Let me uh, clear a little bit off here because I've, I think I've taken over my uh, pulled sandwich tray. We did our pulled sandwiches. We did those guys in the uh, sous vide. Finished them off on the Blackstone. Oh, that sweet and tangy sauce on top. That's re that was really good. That broccoli slaw is fantastic. These chicken burgers are, are, are stupid. And this, this just turned out great. What a nice night for chicken. Have fun, you guys. Do what you got to do. It's a brutal year. Keep on cooking, keep on eating, keep on grilling. My name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill.